Whether you're a man, a machine, or somewhere in between, there's no denying the fact that our species have invented some pretty incredible displays of engineering and technology. From the rise of the Industrial Revolution, the tech boom in Silicon Valley, and even all the way back to the Stone Age advent of the wheel, the human thirst for progress seems never-ending. Luckily for us, in just the past few decades, some of the most astonishing machines have stepped out into the world stage, from deep-sea surveyors to spacefaring probes. Here's the 15 most useful machines that do incredible things. I, we are. Sam is, uh, has a new operating system, so improvements uh, across the board. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to Missing Files, and click the notification bell for the best daily videos. <laughs> Flame-throwing tractors. For our first foray into this weird and wonderful brave new world, nothing says heavy metal machine head like a flame-throwing tractor, right? Yeah, exactly. Just take a look at this thing. Well, while this may seem like it's the product of some photoshopped madness, flame-throwing tractors are in fact a very real thing. And not only are they real, they're also a credible and important aspect of modern-day agriculture. Believe it or not, but while the blight of farmer has always been the pesky weeds that plague their fields, one of the most viable solutions seems to be killing it with fire? Flame weeding, also referred to as just flaming, has actually been a desirable option for organically ridding crops of uninvited weeds, while also replenishing the soil with enriching nutrients from the resulting carbon bombardment. And while this may be a little difficult to comprehend, this isn't exactly a brand new idea either. According to the Northwest Coalition for Alternatives to Pesticide, the first agricultural flame-based weeder was actually first patented back in 1852. And now, as you may imagine, the best bet for pyromaniac farmers is to strap their flamethrowers to their tractors and head out into the fields. Whether it's a handheld torch or a tractor-mounted device like these insane machines, the process remains the same. The weeds are literally burnt to a crisp in the earth, leaving behind rich and fertile soil. It's a win-win. System 001B they say that necessity is the mother of invention, and oftentimes, when our planet has faced an impending crisis, that necessity has required an incredibly vital solution. Our oceans are integral to human existence. It's a simple fact, and yet, despite many efforts to highlight the impending problems, the pollution that our planet's oceans still face is a dire warning sign of things to come. Thankfully, there are some incredible machines waiting in the wings, ready to tackle the Pacific garbage patch and other ever-growing swaths of plastic pollution. One of these is a machine known as System 001B, the ingenious project assembled by the Ocean Cleanup, an organization that is tackling our ocean's pollution head-on. Tragically, each year, millions of tons of plastic enter our planet's oceans, the majority of which spills out from rivers and smaller water systems. Believe it or not, but a vast portion of this plastic travels to what are now known as ocean garbage patches, a maelstrom of pure pollution caught up in a vortex of circulating currents. If you've seen these things, then you'll know how truly horrific they are, and plastic pollution is currently choking the life out of our oceans and ecosystems. Thankfully, by utilizing a state-of-the-art tubular system, the Ocean Cleanup aims to literally scoop all of the trash out of our oceans by riding its tidal currents. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Self-driving trucks. Uh, unless you've been living under a rock for the past decade, you'll know that the talk surrounding autonomous vehicles is currently one of the hottest topics in this great debate called life. While Tesla, NIO, and other electronic vehicle titans are currently leading the way in this exciting new technology, one little-known company is already laying the groundwork for an entirely new futuristic freight industry. Too simple. A self-driving truck company based in San Diego recently announced the world's first autonomous freight network, meaning that they're currently the only company working to make sure automated shipping becomes a reality. For decades, being a long-distance truck driver has been more of a lifestyle than an occupation, requiring hard-working human beings to spend hundreds of hours at a time traveling the length and breadth of the country in order to keep everything running smoothly. 
Well, it seems that way of life will quickly be becoming a thing of the past, and instead, it'll be our new robot overlords leading the charge. Metaphorically, of course. While Too Simple is the first company to be laying down concrete avenues towards change, other companies such as Aurora, Daimler, and Embark Trucks are competing for a slice of the highly coveted prize. The future of self-driving freight trucks is a bright new industry, and it'll mean a giant leap toward a brand new logistical future. <laughs> Ecolog 590 Harvesters how much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck, you know what, it doesn't matter. Forget about that. Move over lumberjacks because there's a brand new forest felling machine in town and it's one that can meet all of our planet's timber needs while sustainably pioneering its way into our future. Ecolog, the company behind this ingenious piece of equipment, have been constructing some of the most eco-friendly machines in the forestry industry ever since the mid-60s and it seems that their particular brand of green-thumbed conservation is the perfect match for revolutionizing the forest. Essentially, instead of marching a team of plaid-shirted lumberjacks up a mountain, all you need is one of these things and you can chop down, strip and portion a tree in one swift movement, all from the comfort of an air-conditioned cab. Awesome! The most incredible machine in Ecolog's arsenal is without a doubt the 590E Harvester, their largest model on the market, fully equipped with a 320 horsepower engine, fully capable of lifting up to 310 kilo newton meters. For the non-physicists among us, that's pretty darn heavy. As Ecolog states, for the 590E, no job is too big and no tree either. The harvester is specifically designed for its cutting-edge performance, its fail-safe reliability, and when it comes to the forestry industry, it's the most useful machine on the market. <laughs> Amazon Prime Air Amazon, currently the most profitable business on the planet. You use them, we use them, your great grandma's best friend's dog probably uses them, and with the colossal amount of money that CEO Jeff Bezos has made from his A to Z of e-commerce, there's no guessing as to what brave new future the Amazon has in store for us all. One thing is for certain though, the cutthroat company will go to any lengths to get our packages delivered on time, and it seems that their newest project will see Amazon deliveries taking to the skies. That's the thing with the future, it's always hoverboards, right? Well, for those of you that don't know, Amazon Prime Air is set to transform the way companies interact with their customers, and thankfully for us, we'll never have to worry about missing our delivery again. Back in June 2019, at their Las Vegas-based conference, Amazon unveiled their Prime Air delivery drone, a hybrid aircraft that's capable of vertical takeoff and landing, as well as sustained forward flight. Amazingly, the new drone uses a combination of thermal cameras, depth cameras, and even sonar to detect hazards, with safety at the forefront of Amazon's brand new delivery service. The company is pretty keen to highlight their drone's machine learning methods which can identify everything from paragliders, power lines, to even the family dog in order to safely deliver a customer's package. The future is here, and it's amazing. <laughs> Of course I still love you. Speaking of the future, nothing says incredible machine like the vessel needed to colonize our solar system, right? For the science junkies amongst us, Elon Musk and his pioneering SpaceX company is one of the most exciting new endeavors in the future trajectory of our species. And although it may seem like we've come a long way since NASA first landed on the moon, the truth is we've barely even scratched the surface. Perhaps the most important aspect of interplanetary space travel is efficiency. And given the fact that fueling and powering a rocket with enough force to break our atmosphere comes at a great cost, reusability is an incredibly important factor. Well, SpaceX has the answer to that with, of course, I Still Love You, an autonomous spaceport drone ship that is operated out of Port Canaveral in Florida. While it might not exactly look pretty on the surface, the importance behind this incredible machine cannot be understated. Essentially, the drone ship is a modified barge outfitted with a large landing platform and myriad autonomous robotic machinery that makes reusable operations into space possible. Although it may not seem like it now, it may be one of the most important machines in our planet's history. Sam 100, the robot bricklayer. If you ever thought that your job was safe from robots, think again. 
because even the age-old profession of bricklaying has already hit the autonomous revolution. While it may seem a little mundane on the surface, the world of construction is filled to the brim with some mind-bogglingly efficient technologies, and in recent decades, the sheer efficiency of new equipment is enough to make your jaw drop to the floor. Ever see a machine build a brick wall like a toddler with a Lego set? Well, take a look at this thing, the SAM 100 robot bricklayer that can lay down over 3,000 bricks per day. Using its combination of a conveyor belt, robotic arm, and concrete pump, by comparison, a human builder will average around 500 bricks per day. That's kind of a no-brainer. While the process of brick laying is time-consuming and harsh on the workers' backs and knees, this innovative machine does away with all the aches and pains of traditional groundwork, instead laying down whole houses at a time with minimal effort. However, don't worry about being out of a job because somebody needs to operate the SAM 100 manually, resulting in a sort of collaboration between human and robot. After all, it's not like they're sentient beings yet. <laughs> Nautilus, the ocean explorer. The deep blue sea is an awe-inspiring place, and for centuries us humans have speculated what insane and awe-inspiring creatures could be deep dwelling at the bottom of the ocean floor. While the unexplored depths of the ocean have long been out of bounds, one incredible machine, the Nautilus Ocean Explorer, is currently finding its way throughout the murky blue, and in the process it's discovered some of the most mind-boggling species imaginable. Nautilus, which is the name of the 210-foot research vessel, is equipped with a team of remotely operated vehicles, the Hercules and the Argus, which are responsible for floating at the bottom of the ocean, shining a torch into the darkness and seeing which creepy creatures stare back. Hey, it's a brave job, but someone's gotta do it. Let's hope there's nothing too scary sleeping down there. <laughs> NASA's Perseverance Rovers Space the final frontier, and when it comes to discovering the impossible, it seems that our species' best chance of finding evidence of alien life may occur in our very own solar system. For decades, the red planet Mars has been under the gaze of scientists for its potential to have harbored complex life at some point in its ancient history, and NASA has the perfect new piece of technology to potentially discover the final truth about life outside of our planet. On July 30th, 2020, the Perseverance rover blasted off from Kennedy Space Center in Cape Canaveral, Florida, where it embarked on a seven-month interplanetary flight that will take it to Jezero Crater on Mars, the site of an ancient lake that scientists believe will be the best chance of discovering signs of Martian life. As you may imagine, the task won't be easy, and the Perseverance rover will face a perilous seven-minute plunge through the thin Martian atmosphere without any input from mission controllers back on Earth. If it survives the landing, the possibilities may be endless, and for the first time in our lives, we may witness the incredible discovery of alien life in our solar system. Amazing! <laughs> Boeing's Flying Taxi What's cooler than a flying taxi? Well, as it turns out, not much. While it may have seemed like the flightful fancy of science fiction and speculative tech, as it turns out, the world's largest aerospace company has already been busy at work in forging the future. Back in 2019, Boeing announced that they had finally completed the first flight of its pioneering autonomous air taxi, and although they've since been keeping the technology close to their chest, they believe that the potential vehicle will carve out a brand new transportation industry, measuring in at 30 feet in length and 28 feet wide. Much like a drone, the prototype hovers in the air and is capable of traveling up to 50 miles at a time. The hope is that Boeing's flying taxi will be able to be called to a customer, much like an Uber is now, and propel them toward their destination in futuristic style. Uh, maybe I'll just walk. <sighs> the MakerBot 3D Printer In Star Trek, members of Starfleet could request pretty much any kind of food or drink and then have it instantly replicated in a microwave-style device. Well, while that's the stuff of the far-flung future, the path toward our very own kind of Star Trek technology may come with the incredible rise in 3D printing. Just a decade ago, 3D printing sounded like the latest crazy fad, but amazingly, it has survived the ridicule of boom and bust economics, and now owning a 3D printer is soon to be a must-have for every home. Although it costs around $2,000, the current MarketBot replicator is a pioneering piece of kit that can print pretty much any object you give out of PLA plastic, a form of plastic chemically derived from starch. And that's it. Plug it in, request a schematic, 
and off it goes. Amazing! Have you guys ever used a 3D printer? Let us know down below. SLJ932 Bridge Builder When it comes to building bridges, if you're looking for an intrepid invention that literally bridges the gap in this modern era, or if you're looking for a colossal monster machine that can sutter the span between technology and technophobia, then look no further than this giant monster of technology, the SLJ900, perhaps one of the largest industrial devices ever created. Manufactured by the Beijing Wow Joint Machinery Company and weighing in at a colossal 580 tons, this dimension-defying construction measures in at a staggering 298 feet in length and 22 feet wide. The SLJ900 was designed to build incredibly long bridges consisting of a large number of girder spans, and unlike many machines of its kind, it was designed to drop bridge girders in place as it moved along its track, much like a train. Instead of using a stationary crawler crane to lift the girder of a bridge from the ground and then drop it into the place, the SLJ900 was designed to drive the girder of a bridge on top of each other like the teeth of a zigzag zip, slowly extending its arm into place to support the next platform. It's amazing machinery, and it's also pretty darn huge. <laughs> Tree spaders. Okay. This one may sound pretty outlandish, but bear with us a moment. While chopping down trees is an impressive enough endeavor, have you ever thought about moving a tree? Okay, well, maybe you haven't, but if you have, then the answer is not only is it possible, it's also, it's also thanks to one of the most impressive instances of machinery of recent times. While not exactly the most luxurious of operations, tree spaders complete the job of literally plucking fully grown trees, roots and all, from the ground before traveling miles on end and then perfectly transplanting them back into the earth. Often complete with six separate hydraulic spades, a tree spader will effortlessly slide into the ground like a hot knife through butter before clasping the roots of a tree and plucking them into the back of a pickup truck. So yeah, there's pretty much a machine for anything and it definitely beats just chopping it down. Human Universal Load Carrier Ever felt the need to live your life with the physical strength of the Incredible Hawk? Well, in the past, the only way to do that would have been to accidentally find yourself trapped in a terrible nuclear experiment. But thankfully now, the Human Universal Load Carrier has instead made it much, much easier. Oh, and there's none of the green side effects either. Literally bearing the anagram HULC, this incredible machine is an untethered, hydraulically powered, anthropomorphic exoskeleton developed by Exobionics and produced by Lockheed Martin. While this machine is currently exclusively made for the military, the implications of the device are staggering. Essentially, it enables a human being to lift weights of up to 200 pounds with little to no effort, while also allowing them to run at a top speed of 10 miles per hour at extended periods of time. Although it looks relatively simple on the surface, it's the closest we'll get to being a superhero anytime soon. Amazing. Wave Energy Converters Alright, surf's up, because for our final entry, let's look toward the tumultuous tide for inspiration. For decades, as our societies have been scrambling to come up with the perfect solution for tackling climate change, it seems that the answer may already be wading out by the shoreline. Wave Energy Converters, a series of installations across the planet that come in the form of a wide range of devices, are currently heralded as the most exciting machinery in the energy industry. They vary from point absorbers, terminators, and oscillating wave surge converters. And if that sounds like a load of technical jargon to you, basically the ocean is an ever-changing flowing system, and so it takes an equally adaptable form of engineering to fully capture its power. Currently speaking, there are over 7,400 varying devices that have attempted to become the de facto system in wave energy conversion, but whichever of them will ultimately take the cake is yet to be decided. However, as the old saying goes, to the victor goes the spoils. Because there is an estimated 1170 terawatts per hour potential in a US coastal wave energy alone. And if you didn't know, that's a lot of energy. Well, there we have it, the 15 most useful machines that do incredible things. Thanks for sticking around all the way until the end. As always, you've been watching Missing Files. See you next time.